up, everybody? This is Robert, your host of Con with the Dink. And uh, tonight is Sunday. Um, I'm going to talk to you about um, what prisoners who say that I'm on man time really means. So over and over again, what you'll hear is guys say, and I've heard it, by the way, I've heard it on um, some YouTube prison channels before, more than one, and the people talk about when they're in prison, they were on, quote, man time um usually and i'm talking over 90 percent of the time when somebody says that that means that they have went into protective custody that they were a gang dropout that they owed money and otherwise had to go check in which goes in, which means protective custody but it's anything but man time. It's 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 like to me. It's like the guy who like cries snitch and says everybody's a snitch, but really they're like the biggest snitch. So I started hearing this this term. I'm on man time. Really, it was about 2014, and um, it was I noticed over and over again. It was guys that usually come in, and this was it when I was at Terre Haute, who were always suspect. These were guys that were usually, like if they were white, their skin was really, really pale white, which means that they'd done a lot of time in the hole, which means that usually they were in segregation because they were bounced around or kept in segregation for a long time because they were scared to go into general population. They were guys that, like I said, that dropped out of gangs. And normally, so let me, let me explain. Back in the day when somebody would say, I'm an independent, that means that they kind of weren't, um, going along with the prison norm. That is, when you go into a prison system, usually people want to know where you're from. Where you're from depends on what you're, where you're going to be uh, sitting in the chow hall or what car. Car is a group. So they'll say, okay, where are you from? And I'd say, well, my, my, my thing was I'm from California slash Arkansas. I could fit into either one. So I'd say, okay, I'm from California. I'm from Arkansas, whatever the deal was. And they'd say, okay, you're in the Arkansas car. And you just get, you know, put in there. So then that's kind of like a gang in itself so if you're identifying a, from an area or a state that you're from whether it's a gang or not you're kind of clicked up in a gang or if i'm like joined the dirty white boys i'm a member of the dirty white boys i'd say i'm a dwb i'm a dirty white boy and that's who i ran with but um then there was a lot of guys that claimed to be just quote independent and independent was just somebody that wasn't trying to hang out they weren't trying to be in any quote car great gang group affiliated with anybody they just wanted to kind of do solo time that all changed i'm gonna go ahead and guess and say somewhere around 2004 and what happened was they built a lot of new prisons and with the, um, the building of new, the new prisons came a lot of new um especially white gangs from different state prison systems i can think of sac soldiers of varying culture saw uh aryan circle nazi lowriders and the list can go on and on and when a lot of the gangs started coming in, guys that weren't in gangs would say, okay, I'm independent. Well, independent then really became a gang in itself. There's a lot of yards right now, especially in the in the USPs or the maximum securities, where they don't want gang members to rock the walk the yards. So if a gang member comes in, they'll either try to smash them out, meaning, uh, you know, beat them up off the line, or right when they get there the administration administrative will, administration will say something like hey you know you guys can't walk here if you're a gang member or whatever and the independence had since become a gang in itself so if a guy says they're independent now or that's what it had been that means they're kind of in the independent gang so the term people started coming up with this term i'm on man time and like I said, I was a terror hat and I kept noticing these guys come in and said, I'm on man time over and over again. And they were anything but. Now, I'm going to say that I know a lot of guys that I joined the Dirty White Boys with back in the 90s or 2000s that actually have dropped out. They are on, uh, for the lack of a better term, P protective custody yards, even though there's really not a PC yard. There's, there's gang dropout yards or sex offender yards, stuff like that. But, uh, and, and a lot of these guys um, did so because uh, the new ones that came up were just buck wild. They had no respect for the older ones. Or they just realized that being in a gang was a bunch of bullshit, and they dropped out. And a lot of times after the guys drop out, they really kind of start hating themselves for dropping out or feel less than or whatever. But um, then people start like i said then you'd hear these guys say well i'm on man time i guess saying that i'm on man time kind of makes themselves feel better 
like if they didn't check in, like if they weren't scumbag pieces of shit who ran up, who ran up a bunch of debts and then and then had to you know go check in. Again, check in is going to protective custody. Um, and yeah, it, this came up because just the other day, a couple guys came in, and uh, I'm in a facility that's that's uh, it's full of people that are just being transferred into the Bureau of Prisons. There are people in this facility that are that are actually um, going through their cases. They have been placed here. Some of them are from Texas. Uh, they're not sent yet. Some of them are from Oklahoma. But most of the guys, like I said, are coming. They're either going into the uh, a federal bureau prison system, or they're being transferred to and from. And here comes some guys that they walk in. And they're like, you know, they're kind of nervous. They want to know what's going on. They don't know what kind of prison this is. So you're like, where are you from, homie? You know, where are you from, bro? Where are you from, SA? Whatever you want to say. And they're like, oh, I'm on man time. And you're like, oh, whack, 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 womp, womp, womp. And even right away, you just know, okay, this guy's nine times out of ten. It's not 9.9% time out of ten. Don't go pieces of shit. And I will say again, that doesn't mean because you dropped out of a gang, you're a piece of shit. Um, I was in a position where I never had to drop out, per se. I kind of faded away. And what I meant was I had cancer that put me in a facility or in a um on a compound that did have gang dropouts, that did have sex offenders, that was neutral zone, that was in the hospital. And then when I went to uh, FCI Terre Haute, there was, uh, there was different times when it was political. Uh, I was around other dirty white boys, what, three or four times in the, in the nine years. So it really wasn't a gang yard or gang per se. But um, I, I'm saying that because I know some good guys that have dropped out. I don't know if they're running around saying they're on man time, but again, man time is just a super big red flag for uh, for pieces of shit, for lack of a better term. I don't know how else to say it. And uh, I've heard other people say, you know, uh, as far as being a real man, like you know, I I have even said I I you know when I got out, I I wasn't a man. I've even said that about myself because I wasn't able to live up. Um, to uh, marital issues, to just being a father, whatever the deal was. And I know there's people on YouTube that says that's a real man. Okay, I, I, I get all that, but I'm specifically talking about prison. And um, just remember, if uh, you ever go to federal prison, don't use the term I'm on man time, because that's just, that's a red flag. You could be a target just for saying that. And um, I dare anybody to really say that I'm wrong, that I, that I actually knows anything about the prison system. But I'm sure there will be, and that's cool, too. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about man time. So I guess the um, title of this will be Beware of Federal Prisoners Who Say, quote, I'm on man time, <laughs> something like that. So uh, anyway, I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. I will uh, be putting something out soon. Thanks. Bye.